crops are in our garden. I'm so excited. Welcome back to our channel, Hume's Little Homestead. Hi! What a birthday! I'm very excited because I got mulch! I got five bags of mulch today and I'm gonna mulch the flower garden and if there's any leftover, I'm also going to mulch the little peach trees that we have planted. The peach trees that we planted are just an experiment. We planted them from the pits. So it's mostly just to have trees on our property and I don't know if they'll ever produce fruit because we started them from a peach pit. So it's just an experiment and it's just for fun, but they're doing good. It's their third year now and they're pretty little still, but they are looking really good this year. If you guys have any idea in the comments how to get rid of these giant ants. We have tried everything and they keep coming back year after year. So comment down below if you know any way to get rid of ants. The yellow one? Yeah. I like that one. <laughs> She's so lazy. She didn't even move. <laughs> I bet if you better she'll go in. <laughs> She's like like a big dog. Okay, this is funny. <laughs> go on. <laughs> we should have got her a treat or something. <laughs> she just sat down. <laughs> So this morning we uh, took our pig over to one of our friends house and he helped us butcher it. Uh, well, we got it all skinned out and everything. We're going to butcher it over the next few days when we get time to go over yeah, there. Yeah, so. he taught us a whole bunch and we're really, really grateful and we learned a whole bunch this morning. <laughs> we did. The next thing we need to do though is something I'm so excited about. Okay, take down the panels right there. And make our archways and all of the sprouts that I sprouted in the Ziploc baggies are ready to go in the ground today. So that is what we are doing today.
our fencing for the tomatoes. Do we want it? We aren't doing this fence as tight as our regular fence around our property. We just don't have any good corner posts to pull very tight off of. So we're not going to worry about how tight it is. This is just going to be to support the tomatoes to grow up. Instead of using those wire cages, we found we like to use the cattle panels, but we had this fencing, so we're going to use this fencing. And what we're doing is we're raising it, is that about 12 inches, do you think? Is that a foot? Probably six inches. Six more. inches. We raised it about six inches off the ground. That way I can weed underneath it and the fence won't be in my way. So that is what we're doing. And we're first attaching it to this, what kind of pole is that? It's just a metal stake, a metal post that's in the A metal post that... It was already here with this barbed wire fence, but we um, got permission to use it to put up our field fencing. And now we're gonna use it for this. We just finished getting it up. We left a gap right here, probably about six inches like you said. And we didn't want to cut this fencing, so in case we want to take it down and use it for something else later. So we just wrapped it around and propped it up. And same thing, these were already two separate sections, so this is what we did. And I'll be having sunflowers right here and tomatoes around the rest. I think it's going to look pretty cool. Let's take a look at these sprouts now that we're ready to plant them outside on the archways. Oh, hi kitty kitty. Hello. So the Chinese red noodle bean all sprouted really well. I really don't want that cat to get, no, no, I don't want you to get my seeds. Those are the bush sugar baby watermelons. Here's how they look. Silver Yamato watermelon. We only had one sprout. Oh, two sprouts. Pink painted lady beans sprouted really well. They're all starting to sprout, so I'll, I'll plant them all. I can see that one's got a sprout. Yellow scallop squash, all of them sprouted. Big moon pumpkin, not all of these sprouted. That's okay, I'm not exactly sure where to plant these yet anyway. Gray zucchini, I only got one sprout. I think I got it too wet in there. Acorn Autumn Blend, all sprouted. Crookneck, these are really ready to go. Spaghetti squash, and butternut squash. They're all looking great. And now we'll go out and show you how to plant these since they're pre-sprouted. Oh, such a good kitty. Such a good kitty. Don't step on my, it's so cute, you guys. It's the cutest little kitty. Hello. Here's how I did my chart. I just did it on some lined paper. And now I'm gonna go plant all of those out where I have them charted on this chart. Oh, I need to get grab those seeds too. On 
on this archway we're putting spaghetti squash and it's gonna be on both sides going up this way shoo let me get it out what I wanted to show is when you get your sprouts off of this paper towel their roots might have gone down into the paper towel so you want to make sure and gently if they're stuck see how it's stuck on there don't pull the root just tear the paper towel because you can save the root like that there's two that's two right there so well separate them no that's just one so here's our sprout we're going to plant it this direction like that I think I'm gonna put it right here how many sprouts do I have? Um, sorry guys one two I'm just gonna show this one Ready? okay I'm gonna put it right here Just like that. Very gently so you don't snap the roots. Roots, yeah. Oh, there's a worm. It's like the dirt is moving. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I'm gonna do with all the spaghetti squash. If the root is really stuck on there, you can just plant this piece of paper towel with it. That's not gonna hurt anything. The paper towel will just eventually turn into dirt so it, it doesn't hurt anything going ahead and planting the paper towel with the sprout I just like to make sure that the sprout is facing up it will it'll figure out its way with gravity but it does help it out a little to put it facing upwards when you start out so I'm gonna plant this one with the paper towel look how neat these pink painted lady beans are I'm just fascinated by them I'm so excited that they sprouted they have such a neat color. I did not pre-sprout these beans in the Ziploc baggies, but I did soak them for a couple hours and now I'm gonna plant them. I'm only doing two of each because I want to test these beans out and see which ones we end up liking the best. So right here is the Dragon Tongue beans from Baker Creek. Here we have Burpee's tender pot, ten, garden bean tender pod. And this is Burpee's stringless green pod. Let me say that again. Burpee's stringless green pod. And then right here is the golden wax improved garden bean, also by Burpee's. So... These were all recommended to me by different people, so we're gonna try them all and see which ones are our favorite. I just thought these were interesting on bigger. I was surprised they just look like pinto beans. <laughs> so we'll see, this is gonna be interesting. And all of these are bush varieties, so they didn't need a trellis. That's at least what the package says. So these are going in a row and we're gonna test them out. Oh, let's explain what's happening. It is not Caden's birthday just yet. It's an early birthday present because we're going on a trip. And it's a tablet, oh. and we're going <laughs> on a long trip, so they told me what my present was, and I was going to get a tablet. He thinks it's a tablet. We don't know what's in that bag. I have a yes, I do. You guys do. You want it. I'm you know. That. No. Okay, go. <laughs> Is it it's a tablet. No, they didn't have a good case for it, so that's what you got for your case. <laughs> Same they were sold that. out of a lot of stuff. <laughs> Give me my Panadol. Okay, that's it. That's it. <laughs> you will probably get an ac another birthday present on your actual birthday, maybe. 
What is that? It's chamomile, and I'm making chamomile tea. And How do we do it? <laughs> so you just put some chamomile in a cup, and then, and then have some hot, hot water running on your stove. Right there. We just barely got a new teapot for you, and you just put chamomile in there. Yep, we pour the hot water over it. Yep. Then you can put me, uh, Mama. Um, me. some honey in it too if Mom. you want. But you don't have to. You can also put you can also put um some some sugar in it. Just a minute, Hannah. Okay, it's very hot. Yeah. It has truly been an amazing day. I'm hoping the wind isn't too bad. I'm hoping it doesn't pick up here while I'm trying to film this really fast. I just wanted to go over what we put on every single one of these archways really fast for everybody, just as like a pre-garden tour type thing. Um, even though nothing has sprouted just yet. I mean, they're probably sprouted under the ground, but they're not popping up just yet. So in this first archway that I'm standing under right here, this is going to be, I have a list too. <laughs> this is gonna be honey melons and Kajari melons. And then we'll come to this next ar archway. And this is going to be all spaghetti squash on both sides and hanging down hopefully i'm really excited about this and then this next archway here the third archway is going to be pink painted lady beans and those are so neat looking we got them from our friends at celtic roots farm homestead youtube channel i'm not <laughs> i'll link their description below and this very it'll be the very first it's either the first or the last whichever way you walk into the garden this archway is going to be watermelons. I have bush sugar baby watermelons and they were supposed to be bush type, but they said they get four feet long vines. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and trellis them. And then the other side is gonna be those large Yamata tomatoes. And I mean, tomatoes, large Yamata watermelons. We're not talking about tomatoes just yet. Next time. I have a very exciting plan for the tomatoes. So this will be watermelons right here. Then I have crookneck squash, autumn acorn squash, gray zucchini, and yellow scallop, scallop, shop, scallop squash at the end of this row. So the bush squash will be here, and all the vining plants will be there. Along the back, I still need to do some weeding along the back, we have chocolate cherry sunflowers and chamomile. And the chamomile is looking beautiful. So I will get a close up at it and just show you how pretty it is. It's just looking really, really pretty. And over here on the back archway are honeysuckle vines. We need to work on our entryway. We'll do that soon too. And we need to work on these logs. <laughs> this first archway here that I'm standing under on this row is gonna be honeydew and cantaloupe. And then we come to this next archway and it's gonna be cucumelons and cucumbers. I'm really excited to see those cucumelons. And this next archway is Chinese red noodle beans. I cannot wait to see how these look. I am getting real excited. They all had sprouted really well, so I'm hoping that they like our temperature and conditions here in Northern Arizona. And this last archway is going to be butternut squash. Butternut squash happens to be my favorite vining squash. So I'm really excited about this archway. And then I don't have it planted out just yet. It's with the tomatoes. I am going to put burgundy okra in this row right here. That doesn't need to be trellised. And then here is where our bean experiment is happening. Dragon tongue beans, burpees tender, tender pod, burpees stringless, and golden wax beans. That's all gonna be experimental bush varieties right here. Then over here, I need to finish scooping this out so that it can be more functional. But I've got some oregano tucked in between this chamomile. Oh, it's blooming, it's pretty. Look at those little flowers. 
So that's how the oregano is looking. And I have green, green dream parsley and Italian parsley. And it's gonna be seeding out this season because it's its second year. I also have garlic in this area. These are the garlics that I planted from Sam's Club. <laughs> And I'm going to be putting, in the spaces, I'm going to be putting Clemson spineless okra. Here we have asparagus and onions. And each day more of these onions pop up. These are yellow onions. There's another one right there. There's a weed. So this is asparagus and onions. And then on the other side, I have purple asparagus and the same yellow onions. So that's this row here. And it's going a different direction than the rest of the garden. And then over here, I have two blackberry bushes. And they are starting to do really well. That's what we have done so far. I'm really excited and we still have our blueberry bushes that we've planted, strawberries and that um, I will show you the bleeding heart bush really fast because it's looking really awesome too. Right here is Fever Few. It's making a comeback and I mulched it so I think it's going to do much better. That's a weed. But there's the Fever Few right there. And I think the foxglove died but I did put some squash here because I had nothing there. Look at this rhubarb. It really, really came back after replanting it over here. This is delphinium, and it's also coming back nicely. And look right here, it's our nice little bleeding heart bush. I keep this board over it so that it can have full shade. But it is growing really good now that it came up. I uncovered it the other day and it got a little sunburned on this one so it definitely needs the full shade but really exciting a lot of little shoots coming up from it looking great and these are onions and carrots I need to get in and weed and radishes and they're also doing pretty well right here is marshmallow I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna plant this herb it's doing pretty good. It died back, but it's coming back now. And I'm not sure if I showed what I worked on over here in the flower garden just yet. It is, I put all this mulch down and you can really see all the lilies that have popped up. They look amazing. I cannot wait to see all their beautiful colors. So we got more mulch to put down and I will be weeding this and doing that more. But I wanted to show you what I got done so far. Oh, it looks like our little sunflower fell over in the wind. I need to prop that back up. My mom gave me this after I lost. It's either Skylar or Liam, I can't remember now. One of the babies. It was very cute. I put it in this flower garden. The roses, I don't know guys. They're not looking great. The yarrow looks good, but I just keep hoping that the roses will be okay, but I don't see any buds on them or anything, so definitely getting a little concerned about these roses. This one has the most beautiful colors, this lily. I think it's so pretty. Really neat. Just all over. I love how the mulch really makes them pop. Looks really nice. Thanks for watching. We hope you're having a great day, and if you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe. Bye. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Green stuff on my teeth. Say hi, Emmett. Say hi. Can you say hi? I'm gonna edit out some of this. <laughs> Oh, I'm videoing that. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wrap around my hand. Gross. Okay.
Okay, I don't think he's gonna say hi again. Yeah, he looks like I'm an angel. You're. <laughs> <laughs> she farted. She farted on camera. <laughs> Thanks for watching us today. I didn't look at the right spot. Thanks for watching today. We hope they're having a great day. <laughs> Bye. Redo that one. <laughs>